Greetings internet marketers. Welcome to part 9 of my tutorial training on how to sell your products at Warrior Plus, JVZoo, and Clickbank. And by now, hopefully you have already completed all these other steps. Okay, so let's get started with part 9, setting up your product listing at Warrior Plus. Alrighty, so here is my Warrior Plus product listings. So to access this page, go to a vendor here or hover over the vendor menu. Go to products and you will arrive here showing all of your products. Okay, click on new product. Here is the product listing page. So I have two products. I have a main front end product, upsell, downsell, thank you page for the front end and a thank you page for the upsell. So that means I have three products. So I need to set up three different product listings. So for this one, I'm gonna do my main product and then upload your image. Navigate to your image file, upload like that. And now select category keywords and content type. So for example, affiliate marketing. You can answer up to three keywords. And here's a little trick I like to use for a lot of my products. If you go to marketplace alerts, on this page, it'll show you the most followed keywords. So these are the most popular keywords relating to products with these keywords. So WordPress is number one, and then we have Facebook, software, free, POR. So when you launch a product using these keywords, Warrior Plus will automatically send out alerts to all of these people that have subscribed to these keywords for getting alerts. Right here, for example, 1,999 people have subscribed to get alerts on new products with the keyword WordPress. So just right there alone, if you have three keywords, let's say the top three, that's almost uh, 6,000, 5,500 people that will automatically be alerted with your new product launch. That right there is already free traffic for you guys. So use it wisely, don't spam it. Just make sure it's at least somewhat related. Okay, let's go back. And now content type, ebook, or whatever other categories or type that matches your product. Webinar off. So this is for people with webinars, so I don't use that myself. Share product. So if you JV with somebody, it can be shared across another vendor's offer. Now product access. This is why it is important to have your thank you page already set up. So you need to copy this link. Access URL, paste it in here. This is your access URL or thank you page, customer page, where your buyer can access the product or download it. If you're using some kind of password protected members area or thank you page, then you need to provide access here so that Warrior Plus can verify or approve your product to be listed in the public marketplace. And right here, download file, where you can upload your product file. I don't recommend this. It is way better to have it on your own website. So that way, if you have multiple downloads, it'll be nicely displayed here. You can also have exclusive special offers partner offers, affiliate offers, an opt-in form. So definitely, definitely use your own thank you page. Now refund policy, always have a refund period. I always do 60 days. So uh, be generous and offer at least 30 days, but 60 days is the, is the minimum for ClickBank anyway, so I might as well stick with 60 days. And terms and condition, if you have any special terms, and usually I never put any special terms. Now support email, you should uh, have definitely a support email and then support URL if you have a ticketing, support ticketing system. You can enter it here, so it's optional. And you can get notified of sales notification. You wanna turn this on so you can get new alerts and you're gonna be very, very happy getting your first sale. I know I was. Okay, next step. Disclosures. Okay, so the product status is open, of course, available for sale. Ownership, this is where it can get kind of tricky. So I am the original 
and or exclusive owner of this product. So if you create it yourself or have somebody create it or outsource the creation process, then uh, that means you're the exclusive owner. If you bought private label rights, then you would click here. I have non-exclusive license. And there isn't really a fine line. Say if you bought a POR product, a plugin or ebook, and you significantly changed it to the point where it is no longer recognizable from the original, then it will be under the original creator. But where is the fine line between the two? I, d I don't know. So you have to be the judge of that. And I'll tell you right now, if you're new to Warrior Plus, and the chances are if you select this right here for your product, I think there may be a lower chance for you to get listed in the public marketplace if you select it that you just bought a private label rights and you're listing it at Warrior Plus. So make sure you change, uh, rebrand the covers, make some significant changes to the products, combine them with other packages, make it unique enough so that you can confidently say I am the original creator or exclusive owner of this uh, newly original product. That's up to you to decide. I can't decide for you. So I hope that's not too confusing. So anyhow, let's continue to uh, pricing. They have a few sales types. You can do buy now, subscription. So to keep it simple, this is a one-time payment and the sale price is important. So the, your first launch, between $7 and $17 is the ideal amount for a new seller. And $7 is the ideal price anyways for a front-end product. And you can put a regular price. This is mostly a sales gimmick. So your regular price is 27 and now you're discounting it to $7 instantly. And this right here, if you have a limited number of sales, but for most, sellers selling digital products there's no reason to have a limit sales and this variable pricing dime sell time sell is a pretty good and useful strategy so let's take a look at that real quick so increase price by so this means that say let's go with 0.15 every one sell and the maximum is say 9.95 so this means that after every sale, my, the price will automatically increase by 15 cents. And this is again a sales gimmick to uh, in increase the urgency so that your visitors see that the price are increasing every time there's a new sale. They're gonna want to buy it quickly. So it, it's a great strategy. I use it quite a bit. And you can also try hours. So every hour or 24 hours, it's gonna increase by $1. And then you can set the start time here and then the maximum price. So after it reaches or the max price, it's, gonna, it's not gonna increase anymore. So I use both of these strategies quite frequently. And I think the simplest one is to do the after every sale. So after every sale increase by let's say one penny, every one sale increase by one penny. And it is optional, you do not need to turn this on. If you wanna keep it simple, $7, then just leave it off. And now next, for the merchant account. And again, we already set this up back in part eight, where I showed you about connecting your PayPal. So simply click here and it'll show your PayPal account and then just click on it. And if you set up credit card payments to accept credit card payment, you can turn that on here. For vendors that are from countries that don't support PayPal, you can turn on Stripe here. Okay, and customer fields, if you want your customer to fill out certain things when they make the purchase, like phone number, full home address, and country, you can turn that on here. As default, it's off and I never actually use this anyways. And this is a really cool feature right here that I haven't tried out before. This feature right here will cancel the, the light version, for example. So that's pretty nice now that they have that. Okay, now onto affiliate options. So commission rate, let's give our affiliates 
and I recommend at least uh, 75% but if you're a new uh, vendor you may want to offer a higher percent especially if you sell something at low price like one or two dollars five dollars you would probably want to offer a higher percent to attract more affiliates because if you're offering something for like two dollars and then giving them say 50 percent they're making a dollar promoting your product so a lot of them are not going to waste their time to make a dollar so if you're selling a five dollar product give them 100 percent especially if you're a new vendor selling a low price product give them 100 percent for the front end product and then you can try to make more on the upsell products so that's a strategy that's up to you and where plus commission if you uh, want to give them a different commission uh, you can do that and I'll just give them the same uh, where plus commission and down here are your integrations and again we did this in step number eight integrating your autoresponder and PayPal so here click on new connection and then select your autoresponder service and now you can select a list from your for example get response and then if you want to create a new list then you would click here and then click save okay and the good news is everything is set up at least for this product everything else here is optional for this basic tutorial you don't need to mess with those and now let's click on save okay good news it saved successfully however uh, the product image didn't upload for some reason so I need to try that again so let's see if that works okay so it worked this time and it gives you a nice little summary up here okay so next uh, we need to uh, create a separate product listing for each one of your products so you have one main end and then also I have an upsell here and a downsell here and the good news about Warrior Plus is they're pretty useful features like clone product. And here you can go and create a new clone. So this is going to be my upsell. And you can choose to copy everything like the category, tags, basic information, except for the product is different. Uh, integration is the same, just going to be added to the same customer list. Okay, your product was cloned successfully. Let's view the new product. So let's upload the image first. So this is my upsell image. And then make sure you enter in your uh, keywords. I'm not sure why I didn't copy over. And now for the product access, make sure you enter in the right thank you page. There it is. Now for the price, upsell price, usually it's always higher than uh, the front end most of the time and i will not do a dime sale or time sale for the upsell same paypal and commission rate uh, typically is 50 percent or above on upsells and i always offer at least 60 percent for where plus commission i'll just give them the same uh, commission as the regular standard affiliate commission and now save and I forgot to certify my ownership status right here. Okay, let's save. Okay, now we need to do one more last downsell. So clone product. So discounted product. Select product image cloning off. Everything else is okay. Clone. And then success view new product. Okay, and we just do everything again, just like we did with the upsell okay so i got my image and then make sure your access thank you page is correct and everything else is good certified okay now the new sale price okay everything else looks good safe so it's a lot faster with the cloning once you get the hang of it so let's view all product okay so here we have the three products just created the main product upsell product discounted product and i was going to uh, set up the sales funnel today too for part nine but i think this video is getting a little bit too long and so i'm going to save this for the next uh, video 
part 9.1 where I will show you how to set up your sales funnel through the Warrior Plus offers and connect it all together and then set up your sales button and everything else. And again, I'll leave my entire playlist link down below in the video description. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much for viewing. As always, be sure to subscribe to Hunter Webmaster for more tips, tricks, and tutorial trainings. Thanks again, and happy marketing.